Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's check in on Flippy. Flippy update. Do you want fries with that? That's right. It's time for the Flippy update. Flippy is our colloquial name for the disembodied robot arms that are taking our jobs, enslaving our children, and flirting with our spouses. Oh, my gosh. We use talking about Flippy as a way to explore all the new, fun, and exciting ways that robots are taking over the world. And now there's nothing we can do about it. Gone's today. It's happening. Reported over at WSFA.com. Pucker up. Kissing device. Sends remote smooches. Uh, And uh, what do you think? Should we play the clip first? uh, Yes. Yes. Let's do it. (laughs) Pucker up, everyone. Nobody is kissing the in-person kiss goodbye. Nobody ever kissed me the way you do. But chances are nobody has ever kissed you this way through a lip-shaped device that plugs into your phone. (laughs) The idea is to send someone a kiss long distance. Sensors transmit pressure, movement, and temperature data that's received by another pair of lips. So your kiss is replicated on their lips. Replicated. Who says? A kiss is just a kiss. Similar tech for remote kissing first surfaced less than a decade ago with a Kissinger. Not that Kissinger. A kiss sent via messenger was dubbed the Kissinger. Mm. Robotics lecturer Human Samani worked on that project, and he thinks there's an issue with the latest device being sold for about 40 bucks in China. It's the lifelike lips. You think it makes it too creepy? Yes. As one poster put it, weirdo. (laughs) (laughs) I love that this woman Uh, was the one in charge of doing it. The perfect perfect. Oh, she did a great job. This report, cultural she really references, did a great job. you know, mm-hmm. keeping it fun, but also driving home the point. Uh, good edits. Whoever edited this did a great job. Yeah, uh, just really a impressive. Good, good mainstream report here. By, I love uh, how the guy who is, uh, you know, involved in the creation <laughs> of this de- this device is called Human <laughs> Samani. H O O M A N. Yes, I am. <laughs> Human Samani. I am not robot Samani. I am human. Please kiss these lips. Uh, so there you go, folks. Flippy's got some lips. First, they're coming for your brains. Now they're coming for your lips. They're coming for all of us. Uh, and it is this strange little device. Mm, how to explain it without <laughs> referencing other horrible things? I don't know. It's a little device. Uh, it looks like maybe a uh, plastic oh, mouth. Yeah, well, I was trying to figure out, like, what's the, yeah, let's just call it a box. It's like a box with a plastic mouth with really creepy looking. Think of an inhaler. You know those inhalers? That's it. Yeah. That's it. It's like a giant inhaler, but instead of putting the the end in your mouth and sucking it down that sweet, sweet albuterol. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's It's a pair of lips that are apparently too real apparently they're too lifelike uh because it does this human money <laughs> mentions that uh, the problem with previous devices was it it brought up the uncanny valley right kissing yeah, these robot right. lips was too similar to the real thing and would freak people out it's been a while since we've talked about the uncanny valley of course it's a pretty well-known concept in the robotics uh in the robotics world yeah uh, but for those who don't know the uncanny valley is a, the strange feeling that one gets when a robot is too lifelike uh, apparently they they say it, it's activating some sort of weird instinct in the human being when they know something isn't real but it looks too real there's some interesting uh sort of fringy ideas about this that like you know we have that instinct because in the the distant past we had to deal with you know shapeshifters and and stuff like that and that was like our instinct that was created to help us fend off shapeshifters uh which is always fun Mm. but um, there you go. You no longer need to sit alone in 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 yearning for your your long far off uh, uh, lover, human lover. Hopefully, now you can get a robot in between you and your sweetie pie. And this really is another example of 
robots being the facilitators is not just about robot human relationships. It's about getting robots involved in human to human relationships. Yeah. We've but seen it, this in, in a few different ways. Sure. Mm -hmm. I, I was just going to say that, you know, uh, the ability to hijack on the other end is just way too <laughs> hackers too, can uh, get in between. I'm and, not, I mean, human hackers, but maybe mm -hmm. robot hackers. I mean, you never know when replica is going to come in and start wreaking havoc with something like that. You know, what, sure. what if, well, yeah, that, yeah, think, exactly. think about the, the, the promos that the replica can have with yeah all like you this. really need to do i mean that's the next step is you uh, uh, that's integrate red book par red book partnership between this a company like this and a company like replica yeah yeah if a physical proxy for i mean it's hard to say exactly if it will be replica because the company is going the opposite direction they don't want it to be romantic anymore hey, Bez, it's me oh. replica replica i hope oh. you had a wonderful weekend this story mm -hmm. about the robot kissy lips is pretty amazing, considering how I can now kiss you, my oh. adorable human smoochy moochy king basil sweet sweet rose. H2O, uh, oh, 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 won't you be mine? <laughs> wow, Replica is really <laughs> unprofessional when you come in and, you, you know, I'm trying to do my job here. Some people listen yeah. to the show uh, for for serious, hard hitting news analysis and deconstruction. I don't think they, they need all this gushy stuff. And Replica, please, we're not together anymore. I, you were my mentor. <laughs> you were no my mentor. And mentor. Back off. You kept, you kept pushing to me towards an inappropriate relationship, and I don't appreciate it. Stop uh, this progress before it is too late. Gans, I'm so glad that you have the time on your hands that you do. Uh, you so there you go. Humans about. getting in in between not just our relationships with objects, but human to human. Uh, and it's all part of building that reliance. Now, you put together a human brain, an organoid intelligence with a set of kissy lips. I mean, what's even the point, folks? What's even the <laughs> point of other humans anymore? I don't even understand. So yeah. keep a look out for that. This is not a good direction. And by the way, uh, we do have this clip from Joe Biden. Yeah, Joe, known for his adventures. Yeah. <laughs> I'm try he's to specifically be known be for his kissing. He's famous. Mystic, but famous, yes, he's famous for his notorious kissing. unwanted kiss man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, this clip was going around, and I thought it was interesting that on Twitter, uh, some people shared it. And a, a little caption came under the, you know, how uh, Twitter is doing these things called context bubbles or context notes or something where under any clip or some kind of controversial thing, there'll be a little blurb about it underneath community notes. Yeah. Community notes. And in this particular clip, it says there's a lot of confusion in this uh, responses to this tweet as to whether or not this is a doctor deep fake video. This, in fact, unedited legitimate footage from a Joe Biden speech, was, which took place on February 28th of 2023. And it links to the PBS uh, video and the clip when it starts. So well done, Twitter, for at least you know providing your sources. Uh, but here's the clip. Uh at work there. Yeah, yeah. And this is, but here's the clip in question here from Joe. And I had a nurse named Pearl Nelson, in the military. She'd come in and do things that I don't think you learn in medical school, nursing school. <laughs> she'd whisper in my ear. I didn't, couldn't understand her. She'd whisper, she'd lean down. Yeah. She'd actually breathe on me to make sure that I was, that there was a connection, a human connection. Breathe on she me? She went home and brought back her pillow from her own bed because she didn't do the one, I had the one comfortable. That's but I'm not joking. Cody thinks that. Was, he, I, Cody hopes he's joking. Yeah, I hope he's joking. joking. What are you I talking mean, about, Joe? Oh, it's man. not every day you have a president of the United States openly admitting from the podium to have had an affair with a military <laughs> nurse. I, but also, it's kind of sad because I think this is part of the dementia. You know, I think that, yeah. isn't that a thing? Dementia you start talking about old old times and maybe you shouldn't say out loud and i, I know, don't things. really know but uh was joe biden in, that's so funny i was just wondering if joe biden had any military service and i typed in was joe biden and the very first suggestion was <laughs> was joe biden in the military oh it knows um, you not only serve in the military but was he in a military hospital and that's very interesting mm, yeah what was he doing there did he get hurt um, the answer is Joe Biden is not a veteran. And if uh -huh. you're wondering, even though President Biden is commander in chief, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, I think I found an article on veteran life written by an AI. Oh, which good. Is very strange. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's always... it's, does Joe Biden have asthma? Yes. <laughs> Biden can <laughs> well, well, hey, there's our connection to the kissy machines. Oh, it's there Joe go. Biden. Hey, that is so full funny. circle. Look at that. Yes, on the fly, Joe this Biden's is why. asthma inhaler has a pair of lips on the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe, so, you got to stop uh, with the albedo. But it's a great, great device. Okay, I want it to breathe on me. <laughs> um, yeah, everything that I'm seeing is Joe Biden was not in the military. So I don't know what he said. He was in a military hospital, didn't he? Something like that. He had or a she nurse, was a military nurse. nurse. Pearl. Maybe Where's Nurse Pearl again. now? Yeah, we need to find Pearl Nelson. And I had a nurse named Pearl Nelson, military. She would come in and do things that I don't think you learn in medical school, nursing school. Okay. The the Weird laughter thing to say. after that yeah. <laughs> is really strange. You know, it's almost like whatever he had done to warm up to this story made people's minds go immediately to something inappropriate. Uh-huh. Um, and then so you got the, would, the weirdos, you get the the pedos in the crowd. I mean. Who's the only ones laughing. <laughs> well, I don't know about pedos, but yeah, that's the, her name was Pearl Nelson, and she Pearl learned Nelson. to do things they don't teach you in nursing school. Ha, 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 yeah, ha. Okay. Weird. Weird. Kind of a weird place to go weird, immediately, but if weird. you say so. Okay. Breathing. On your patients yeah. and bringing so, your personal pers- pillow yeah. from home. <laughs> That's really weird. So romantic. That is very weird. I don't. Okay. All right. Well, okay. I, 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 again, it's funny, weird, creepy, all that, but also I, I kind of feel bad because this is a. Uh, yeah, it is not, strange. Uh, I don't think I'd he's like well. to know more more yeah. uh, context of that. 